I'm so freaking drunk, I'm going to share my uh, haul from the Bristol Beef Factory that was bought by my oldest lodger, aka my eldest son, at Christmas. And it's just 12 stouts of Christmas. So anyway, we're going to start off with uh, the Bristol Stout. 5% on a Richter scale for that one. Moving on to smoke chili chipotle. Is that how you pronounce that? And that one's another 5% stout. There we go, we get the mocha. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Mocha by the Bristol Beer Factory. And it's 4.5 on the Richter scale for this one. Moving up the Richter scales, and we have the Creme Brulee. 8.5 on the Richter scale for that one. Another one, we've got the Ultimate Raspberry. I'm quite intrigued by that because I love raspberries. That's 7.5 on the Richter scale for that one. And of course, the signature, the milk stout, 4.5 in the Richter scale. I've had this one before and it's so nice. Really, really comforting. We have the Black Counts and Licorice. That one is 5% on the Richter scale for that one. This is one that's going to appeal to the older palates and it's a port stout 5.5 on the Richter scale for the port stout. Quite intrigued by that one. Now we beauty in a beauty and it's a what's it called? Imperial stout. This one is a whopping 8.5 on the Richter scale. This must be a flagship or something. It's the the ultimate stout. 7.5 on the Richter scale for this one. And I'm finishing off with two beauties. It's an imperial stout aged in whiskey casks. That's 10.5 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. And another one, it's another imperial stout, aged in bourbon casks. And I like my bourbon. And that's another 10.5 on the Richter scale. So anyway, that's my beer haul. Uh, from Christmas, the 12 stouts of Christmas my eldest son gave to me. So anyway, Sophie came drunk. Hopefully you'll catch me when I'm reviewing them. Ciao for now. Keep drinking the good stouts.